Hi, it's Richie with Sonic Dad. Welcome to this episode of the Sonic Builders Club. Today I'm going to show you how to add a small electric motor to a pre-painted plastic model kit like this one. Excellent! You can use this in conjunction with Project 81, which takes the fun to a whole new level. If you're not interested in this project, the conversion I'm going to show you today would also work on a die-cast replica airplane like this one. This comes with its own display base, so something like this would be really fun for decorating a child's room, or you could even take it to work and put it on your desk. I've had up to 30 hours of runtime on one AA battery. So let's hit the workbench and get this project started. As far as supplies for this project, you'll need obviously some kind of model airplane. This is a pre-painted model of the Sopwith Camel. You'll need an electric motor. This small motor I bought off of Amazon, and I'll give you a link to all these things in the description. Um, you can also use a small motor out of a, a dead remote control drone or helicopter. Dead? Disassemble! Dead! But you'll also need the propeller that goes with it. We're going to be using the prop hub in this project. You'll also need some 10 ohm resistors. You can buy those at Radio Shack or online, and a AA battery pack. Now, if you don't have any thin hookup wire, you can buy a dollar store USB cable like this. I'll show you how to remove the insulation and get the wires out. So let's get started. So the first step in this project is to do a little pre-planning. I've already pulled the metal pin that holds the propeller in. And what I can see is if I drill this hole out, I can mount the motor right inside that engine, right in the center there. And now looking at the fuselage, I want to be able to put a Lego figure pilot inside here and obviously that opening is too small so I'm gonna to have to open that up with my Dremel tool and uh, you can also see I've got some molded features in there that will have to go away so that this guy can fit inside. So to mount the motor in this plastic cowl piece we just measure the diameter of the motor and then drill the plastic part out. This ended up being a nice snug fit for the motor. So to mount the propeller we'll first measure the diameter of the quadcopter propeller hub and then carefully drill a hole in the plastic propeller that same diameter. This propeller's got quite a long shaft, so we'll trim the length of that. And then we'll cut the propeller hub off of that small quadcopter propeller and press that piece into the plastic propeller. Now the propeller's ready to mount to the motor. You can paint your propeller to make it look a lot better by using some craft acrylic paints. Start with some dark brown, let that dry, and then lightly brush on some light brown to give it kind of a wood grain look. And then you can paint the prop hub silver. Now we need to add some wire to this motor so we can reach the battery pack. And I'll use wire inside of this USB cable. I'm gonna hold an X-Acto blade between my fingers and carefully run it along the insulation of the wire, being careful not to cut the wires inside. And then we can pull the wires out and cut the length. It makes really nice hookup wire. Now to connect our hookup wire to the motor wires, we could just strip the ends, twist them together, and cover them with a small piece of electrical tape. But the best way to do it is to solder the wires together and then cover the connection with heat shrink tubing. Got my fuselage modified here for the Lego figure pilot. I use cutters to remove this material inside the fuselage, then a Dremel tool to enlarge the opening, and some sandpaper to smooth it out. Then I used a Sharpie to mark the padding on the opening of the cockpit. The next step is to install the motor assembly in half of the fuselage. I started with a small hole in the tail that I'll use to fish the wires through to the battery pack. Then I installed the cowl and the, the motor assembly and then routed the wires back. I used a little bit of super glue to keep the wires in place by the cockpit and then fished the wires through the small hole. Now that we've got the motor installed in half the fuselage, the next step is to get this airplane assembled. I do not suppose you could have speed things up. I hate with Okay, we've got our airplane assembled, and before we attach the control stick, I want to uh, experiment with the RPM of this motor, get it set to what I like, and figure out how many resistors we'll need. What I'll do here is put a battery in the battery pack and then temporarily twist the wires together, and I'll add one resistor at a time in series until I get the RPM that I like. What I'm looking for is a low RPM that looks realistic and won't hurt a child if they stick their finger in it. So I've got three resistors here, that's 30 ohms, and that is just perfect. I like that speed right there. 
I'm not going to cover how to build the control stick and attach it to the airplane. You can check out the project build for number 81 to see how that's done. We're going to skip to the wiring now. I've got my mounting tube attached. Now I can route the wires down the side. I'm going to cover the wires with a bead of glue and then use a permanent marker to color the glue and the tube black. Okay, I've got my control stick built and I glued it in place. The next step will be to attach the battery clip to the top of the dowel and then begin to start routing the wires back along the bottom side of the dowel. So I've twisted the wires together temporarily to do a test. I want to check and see which way the motor is rotating. The way this propeller is molded, it should be turning clockwise. So we'll touch these wires. Actually, that's backwards. So to change the direction it rotates, I just need to flip my motor wires around. Put this motor wire on the positive side. Okay, that's the correct direction. Now I know what my polarity is supposed to be. Now that I know the polarity that I want, I've marked this wire so I know which one to connect to the positive lead. Now I'm going to trim all these wires to length, get it all soldered up, cover it with some hot glue, and then go back with a black marker and, and mark it, make it look nice. Well, the stop with camel is finished. As you can see, I've got my little Lego pilot in the cockpit there. To turn the motor on and off, you just put the battery in the clip or pull it out. I like to put a little piece of uh, cellophane tape around the battery at the top there, and that's a little tab you can use to pull it out easily. So I'll install the battery. You can see our motor starting. And to turn it off, pull on that little tab. There you go. I mentioned in the beginning, if you don't want to build Project 81, you can also do the same modification on a die-cast replica like this and use it as a desk display or in a child's bedroom. I went out and got another one. This is a 48 scale of the P47. Now I'm going to show you very quickly how I made the modifications to this. I started by disassembling the airplane. I found that I could drill a hole through the plastic radial engine and mount my electric motor in there. I drilled a small hole in the bottom of the airplane. That way I could fish the wiring through right by where the base would connect. I found a little electric switch in an old toy and mounted that in the base and then mounted the battery clip. Then I assembled the airplane back onto the base, added my resistors, then I cleaned up the wiring and covered my resistors with some hot glue. And this is how it turned out. Well, that's it for this project. I hope you enjoyed it. And I really hope you get to build one of your own. If you did enjoy it, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and leave us a comment. Jake and I really love to hear from you, and we really appreciate your support. So until next time, I'm Richie, and we'll see you later. Unique okay. New York. Unique New York. <laughs> okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Hey, what's up guys? It's Jake and Richie with Sonic Dad, and we are here today to talk about Proch. Whoa, hey, who's calling now? <laughs> Let's turn that one down. Thanks for watching. If you like what we're doing, click here to subscribe to our channel. Or click here to visit our website.